Today we have another relationship scandal story. Let's get into it. Cry for help. I did a bad thing, and my conscience is not letting go of the remorse I am feeling. Now I'm being blackmailed for my sin, and it seems my world is just collapsing around me. I feel there's no one I can trust, so I'll write down my story if it'll make me feel better but I need to get this off my chest somehow. I cheated on my husband with a dancer on my bachelor at night. The events around the night before it happened is still vivid to me, as it was recently six months ago when I got married. I wish I hadn't done it, because I feel like a damaged good and the worst person on earth. Can I blame it on the alcohol that night, maybe? But I knew exactly what I was doing when I entered the room that night with a shirtless male stripper entertaining the party. To make things worse, I'm illegally getting blackmailed by an anonymous person, promising to leak the tape online. So, yay, maybe my confession is also partly due to the blackmail that is about to tear my marriage apart, but I feel shame. If I were walking down the street, in my head I feel like people would throw tomatoes at me yelling shame. 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 Like the scene from Game of Thrones. This is my cross to bear but this cross is weighing me down to my knees and hurting my back to my spine. Honestly, the random number threatening me with blackmail text hasn't provided any evidence of an existing tape and I have a feeling, it doesn't exist, so I'm not too worried about that. What I do worry about is that this same person can however reveal this information to my husband anonymously as well. I met my husband two years ago at a friend's birthday party I attended with my girlfriend. We had been bored with the music selection at the club we booked. We were in the section enjoying our drinks instead when he walked up to me. His approach wasn't like the typical guys that would randomly start rubbing on my pants, using a lame dance excuse approach. He was and still is, a true gentleman. He wasn't a friend to the birthday girl but he still bought her a bottle which made me like his character, so when he came up to say hi to me, I was swooning already. He seemed to like the vibe between us as much as I did, and we immediately connected. We spent days together and would later develop feelings for each other which led to his marriage proposal after a year of dating. My husband had wanted to skip his bachelor's party altogether, but I told him he must have that rite of passage. I told him if he doesn't. I wouldn't have a bachelorette party either, so he would be the reason why my pre-wedding vibes sucked. I always guilt trip him to do certain things so that I can do my own stuff without feeling bad. Meaning, if I have a bachelorette party and act bad, that means in my head, my husband must be doing something similar, so I don't feel that bad. I never knew I would be so naughty to the extent of banging the male dancer. On the night of my bachelorette party, my friends had everything planned out for my party and it was a good one. We had rented an Airbnb space and most expenses were covered by my bridesmaids who wanted me to have the best time of my life. I told them I wanted something small, like a little gathering, but when I stepped into the rented condo, it didn't seem they planned a small party at all. There were decorations and lots of drinks which left me wondering how many drinks we needed for a small number of us. To my surprise, my bridesmaid had invited their friends as well, so it was a much bigger party now. We have been drinking and telling stories when there was a knock on the door. I was told to go get the door and once I did, about 12 Hulk-sized guys walked inside, instantly telling us we need to be frisked and they were security guard for the party. They weren't fooling anyone with the security guard story and all the bridesmaid immediately turned up the speaker volume. It seemed I was the only one just finding out they had hired male strippers as part of the bachelorette party. These were fine speck of men, rhythmically rolling on the floor dancing for us. My friends started throwing dollar bills as these dancers continued entertaining us one after the other. There was a dancer I had my eyes on. His chest was huge and moving, his exposed thighs seemed like something out of an action movie. The alcohol was already making me hot for him. As he made his way towards me, he took my hands and was rubbing my palms all over his chest. He asked if I would be comfortable if he lifted me off the couch and I said yes. He picked me up and took me to a special chair where he gave me a bridal lap dance and I was getting wet already. I thought there was supposed to be cheers and friends enjoying that innocent moment, but at this point, a couple of the dancers and my friends were missing. They were apparently getting special private dances all over the multiple rooms we had. It was now past 2 a.m. in the night and the party was dying down. As I made my way to one of the rooms myself, I staggered a little bit and my dancer held me up. 
He asked if I was okay and if I wasn't going to drive in my intoxicated state. I told him I was only making my way to the room and would like some assistance, so he helped me to my room. Some of my friends have already passed out at this point, so there was nobody looking out for me. When we got into the room, I just lost all my senses, and I told the dancer I needed one more dance without the music playing this time around. I proceeded to start groping him and as vague as the night memory was, I remembered he asked if I was sure I wanted to do this. The next thing I remembered was him gently stroking me and I was loving it. I tried not to scream as I didn't want my friends rushing in to witness the pleasurable sin I was enjoying. The dancer released inside of me, immediately got up and said he had to go. We just had an affair, and he was ready to go right after? No cuddling, no small talk, he won't even ask for my number. I fell asleep in that mind haze, soaking in the pleasure of having my body explored. Everything seemed okay on our wedding day. I had managed to clean myself up and look as stunning as the day my husband met me. My heart was racing though knowing what I did the night before, but I didn't let it bother me. I started to look around the room to make sure no unwanted faces was there, like the dancer I just did something with. My bridesmaid all looked amazing as well and it seems the night affair was a silent topic nobody discussed. One of my girlfriends was openly kissing and romancing the dancer even though she was married. Another one was getting drilled in the bedroom letting out loud moaning sounds, so nobody was innocent or willing to discuss. We just pretended nothing happened and wore the best smiles on our faces. I thought nobody knew about my situation and what happened between this dancer and I until I started to get the weird blackmail text that has now left me heartbroken. I have been living my best life with my husband and haven't even cheated since that night. We went to our honeymoon in Puerto Rico and visited a few states as well, including Vegas. This has been the best year of my life and it's about to start crashing. I keep wondering who has betrayed me or who is trying to betray me. Could it be my bridesmaid or the friends of my bridesmaid who made their way to the party? I want to ask my friends if they were getting such blackmail threats as well since we were all bad that night but that would mean coming clean about my infidelity before my wedding day. I was the one getting married with more shame to cover. Who even plans a full bachelorette party a night before wedding? Has this been a setup all along? I need to investigate this. But I'm exhausted from the emotional torment I honestly don't even know what the blackmailer wants because he she hasn't demanded for anything so far. Would it be advisable to pay if it's money that's demanded or would I be making a bigger mistake? What if it was one of the dancers that's been harassing me and tells me he wants my body? Do I give in and cheat again on my husband to cover up the previous cheating? So many thoughts have been running through my head that I feel like it's just going to explode. I need my sanity back. I'm extremely remorseful that I dishonorably cheated on my husband and the timing couldn't be worse. I wish I can take it back and make a better judgment call, but it is also cruel to make me suffer like this. If this story breaks, I would wear this shame forever. I am just torn. Hopefully I have a good update in the future, but if it helps, I'm sorry. Relationship Scandal Viewers Please share your thoughts on this predicament in the comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for the part 2 update.